What's good, y'all? What is good? Let me see. Who we got? Who we got? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Are we live? Are we live? Yes. There you guys go. There you guys go. <laughs> no countdown today, y'all. No countdown today because I'm a little late. I was just on Jeff C's podcast with Katie. Um, hope you guys got to check it out. But it's good to see everyone. Welcome to another episode of Marshall Creates. Welcome, welcome, welcome. What's good? Hey, George, good to see you. Thank you so much, Dan, for letting the people know where I was. Mr. Camera Junkie, what is good? Parker, Parker, what's up, my brother? Mr. Moderator, thank you for, for tuning in and moderating every week. So, my man, great to see you. Fusion Marketing, great to see you. So, as you know, we're talking about green screen, y'all. And I took a couple minutes uh, to try to get mine set up really quickly to try to fool you guys, <laughs> but I didn't get to perfect it as much. Uh, no, nah, man, look, I may have fooled David because look, y'all, boom. <laughs> Can you guess where I am? Can you guess where I am? I'm not in Florida, y'all. I'm in the OG home office, y'all. I'm in the OG home office. <laughs> Let me put this down really quickly. We in here, y'all. We in the OG home office, y'all. Yep, we back. We back, but just for a week or so next week, I may be back in Florida. We'll see. We haven't decided exactly when we're going back down just yet. Um, so I may be here, maybe in Florida um, next week. Jeff, thanks so much for having me, my brother. Thank you so much. It was fun. You guys have to check out the episode. Um, <laughs> cracking jokes about my ferns on building blocks. We designated the entire segment to it. <laughs> Look, I had to check it out. I have to check it out. Cause I, I haven't seen it, but I'm gonna have to check it out. So, welcome. Thanks you guys so much for joining us. Marshall Creates, episode 19 of season two, y'all. Today we're talking about green screens, green screens. So um, I'm gonna show you a couple simple ways that you're able to use green screens, right? So um, let's do it. Let's do it first. You gotta have a green screen, all right? So there are a couple different ones you can get. They have the ones that you can add to um, the back of your chair. So um, let's take a look at a few, okay? So let me grab my scenes. Let me move my comments over. Um, so, okay, give me a second. There it is. And we're gonna switch. So yeah, so there's a there there's a type that you can add to the back of your your chair and they're retractable ones. So I have some recommendations because I have one here that I like here in Maryland and then I have one in Florida that is a knockoff version of this one and I don't like it at all. So I uh, want, want to help you guys make it uh, you know avoid making that mistake. Um so I'm gonna pull up Amazon really quickly and then share my screen just so we can look at a couple different ones. Okay. So, okay. Okay. Give me a second here. Cool. I'm back to live mode. Cool. Let me, let me know if you guys can see my screen. Okay. So I have Amazon pulled up here and let me see green screen chair so this is the type that you can attach to the back of your chair so um as you can see it folds up into a bag but there are a couple different ones so this is one that you could use but i'm going to show you the ones that i have so let me see switch accounts
So these are the two that I have, y'all. So this is the one that I recommend, the Elgato green screen. So this is the one that I have here um, right behind me. So, you know, it's a collapsible. It folds into this big um, case looking thing at the bottom. It's like a retractable one. Okay, but look, the reviews speak for themselves. Almost 4,000 reviews for 4.7. It's phenomenal. I love the way it, um, it expands and retracts. So the other one that I have, and I thought I was saving some money in Florida is, hold on, is this one. So I'm like, oh, this looks pretty much the same thing. It's not as much, you know, it looks like, looks the same. So I thought it was going to be the same, but I don't really like it, y'all. I mean, it, it could work, but the thing is, um, when you, when you, when you expand it and retract it, it, it doesn't line up perfectly when it goes back into the in, into the case. It's a little janky. All right, it's a little janky. You can tell it's a knockoff version. So I highly recommend getting the Elgato green screen. Um, yep. So Jeff I almost banned you by mistake. <laughs> Click the ban button instead. <laughs> instead, um, yeah, don't use the Elgato green screen. Um, love it. Don't use it much for some product videos. Worth the price. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, it is absolutely the best one. Um, yeah, Elgato green screen is definitely top tier. Okay, so I highly recommend getting that as opposed to a knockoff version. So that's just my personal opinion. Okay. So, um, so how do you use the green screen? So I'm gonna pull mine back up. Okay, just so you can see. And I'm gonna pull up. Uh, just give me a second. I don't have the stream deck up here, y'all in Maryland. So let me pull up my Stephanie scene and then I'm gonna pull up my green screen. So I'm gonna show you first, I'm gonna show you exactly what I do to um, to get a background, okay? So this is, if you just want a virtual background like that you can take um, with you, like if you just wanted to get your background. So this is, this is the key. Okay. I know I look weird right now. <laughs> so this is the key. Okay. I'm going to play this. I'm going to turn the volume down, play this so you can see exactly what I did. Okay. So I just wanted to get the background. So as I move the chair out the way, because you don't want to have like a double chair situation. And then I have to come back and turn off autofocus. So I want I need to put my face in a place that it typically is. Like right now, as you guys can see me, I'm probably about two feet away from the camera. So I want to want to try to position my face about two feet away from the camera and then turn off autofocus. It took me a minute to get it because I couldn't find a switch. So now I'm turning off autofocus on my lens and getting out the way. So now I can actually take a screenshot of this and use it as like a virtual background. So if you're somewhere else, let's say you're in a hotel um, or you're on the move, but you have a green screen with you or something like that, and then you want to be able to use a virtual background like you're back at your office, then you can do it this way. But as you can see, it's kind of off center. So I came back into the shot and, and centered the camera because it was off center. So now at this point, I'm gonna pause this and take a screenshot of this. And you can also take a, a photo inside of your camera if you were off, you know, but I, I like to use Ecamm for everything, right? Even when I do headshots, <laughs> when I do headshots, y'all, like the one that I have on my Facebook page, let me show y'all real quick. Let me see, it's Facebook. <laughs> Like this one, for example. This is literally me. And where are my scenes? Here they go. Hold on, y'all. Watch this. You probably, guys probably already do this. Oh, why my scenes aren't changing? 
Hold on, y'all. Okay, can you guys see me? So it's, my scenes aren't changing for some reason. I don't know why. Give me one second, y'all. I'm trying to find out. Options. Okay. Oh, I'm still in, in preview mode. Can you guys see my screen? Back to live mode. Hold on one second. Let me know if you guys can can see me. Um. Okay. Can you guys see me? Okay. Yeah, I got you. I got you, Dan. So what I was gonna say is, um, and could you guys see my Facebook page? Let me know. <laughs> Let me know. So if not, really quickly. So this, right? So all I do, and you guys probably do this as well. Um, all I literally do <laughs> is this. So I'll sit here, right? And I move my can my I move my mic um out the way. And I'll just sit here and I'm like usually like this. I'll move my mic out the way like for a second. I literally sit there and do poses and then re record it inside of Ecamm and then go through and skip through the video and take screenshots. <laughs> I take screenshots and I get me a headshot. I get me a headshot. Okay. That's what I do. Um, that's what I do. <laughs> and I've been doing that for, for, I don't know how long did it here. This is actually at the end of a video. It was actually at the end of this video, I think. And you know, I, I think it's funny myself. So I'm as I'm stopping the video, you know what? I should try to see if I find it. This is a little off script, off book, but it would be hilarious to kind of make fun of myself uh, together. <laughs> Let me find it, y'all. So this is June 9th. Let me find it real quick, y'all. So you can see what I do. And if you do it yourself, just remember where who taught you, okay? So I'm gonna find it real quick the actual video and share it with y'all <laughs> June 9th. It had to be around June 9th. Okay. Give me a second y'all. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. June 9th. You gotta love Ecamm. You gotta love Ecamm. Give me a second. Give me a second. Here we are. All right, you guys can see see this, right? <laughs> Hold on, I'm I'm cracking up. I'll crack it up. So, all right, June 9th, let me find the, the video. Hopefully, I wasn't cussing enough. Let me let me, let me turn the volume down. <laughs> Take care. Oh, that's an hour long. No, that that's not it. Hold on, y'all. Give me a second. I'm going to find it. And also, being as though I wanted I wanted to have the plant in the background, I moved the plant over. Okay? <laughs> All right, y'all. Here it is right here. So what I was doing was I was creating some... I wanted to have some images for the thumbnails for Nikki and Moose. So this is this is the literal video, okay? <laughs> so this is a little off script, but as you can see, I'm doing different poses. So I think this may be the one I used here, right? <laughs> of course, I can add some color, some color and stuff. But this is literally the profile photo. This is literally a headshot, y'all, right here. <laughs> oh, I have tears in my eyes. But it's it's a little fun. It's a little awkward. <laughs> it gets it done, y'all. It gets it done.
<laughs> I went over seven tips. Look, y'all, I have tears running down my face. <laughs> seven tips for graphic designers. So, you know, I'm creating the, the thumbnails. So did I show y'all what it looked like? <laughs> the final product. But I'm just, I'm saying all this to say, you can use Ecamm for <laughs> whatever, right? Hold up, Nikki and Moose. Nikki and Moose, Marshall Fox. Shout out Nikki and Moose. Sponsored by Ecamm. Boom. So I'm gonna find my video. Videos. I think it it wasn't live. So as you can see, this thumbnail, this thumbnail, this thumbnail, seven steps to a six figure graphic design empire. And the actual video, let me see where it is. Episode 141. So this is what they used, right? And then on their actual podcast page, like on their um, website, they use all three. So I just sent them the, the screenshots from that. So I'm sorry, we went off topic a little bit. But that is the way you can use Ecamm as well for headshots, for headshots. Who would have thought? You know, just pose, y'all. Just pose. Pose. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's get back on topic. So I'm going to pull my green screen up real quick. Give me a second. All right, I'm back. <laughs> All right, check the comments. Yes, got a little e-cam. For sure, for sure. All right, so I'm gonna pull my green screen up and let me minimize all the junk that we don't need. Um. So as you can see, you know, I can take a screenshot of this and I'll do this quickly. So I have a app called Snagit, but you can use, you know, the regular screenshot app inside of um, Apple, which is shift command four. And it'll, you could, you know, take a screenshot, but I use snag. It has this little pop out, uh, capture window. So you got to make sure that <laughs> the play button isn't on here. So let me stop. Okay. Let me try again. It's by TechSmith. There we go. Boom. Boom. So now I can save this screenshot. But really quickly, while we're here in Snagit, so I took this screenshot. I was on a Zoom meeting the other day with um with the client's assistant, right? And I gave her compliments on her green screen, even though she's not technically using a green screen. I think she's it's just a virtual background. So this is how hers is. Shout out to Christy. She has this virtual background, but her lighting is coming from the side of, you know, on, at least on a virtual background from the side of the window, you know? So it looks like it's not even a virtual background. It looks like she's really there because she has the lighting. So that's just a quick tip for y'all. If you have a shot like this, where lighting is like, like natural lighting is coming in from, you know, a particular side, like that side of your face, at least you put your key light on that side where it'll simulate the fact that that lighting is natural, where it won't look off, um, you know, just won't look off. So as you can see, like her, the, this side of her face is lighter, like the natural light looks like it's hitting her face um, as opposed to this side, right? So I thought that was really cool when I saw that. I'm like, look at you, look at you. Okay, so I have this and I'm gonna save this. Okay, as the, let's say the Maryland background, Maryland office. Let's see what else, let's just see what else I did when I came back. Oh, also, <laughs> I just have myself in the background. So if I, if you want to do anything creepy, like with yourself sitting in the background, <laughs> you can do, you can do that too. So I'm going to save this as. And snag it is Marshall creeping. <laughs> Let's not save all. Wow. 
save. Cool. So we have those saved and I have another one saved and I'm going to show you how to use it, how you can use it for this purpose. So this is one purpose is for a virtual background. Okay. So give me a second. Okay. So I should change this background to ECAM background. So it's not so distracting. So let me do this really quickly. I had this, it was, it was this, this image was kind of like my vision board before we actually moved to Florida, <laughs> the house we moved to and it ain't nowhere near like this, but it's still cute or whatever. We in Florida. That's what matters, right? <laughs> that was the goal. <laughs> All right. Let's just pick one of these. Let's pick this. This is cool. Um, yeah, this is cool. This works, right guys? For now, yeah, let's just rock with this. Hopefully it's not too distracting. Um, okay. All right, move this. And then um, let me check in with you guys. Okay, we're good. All right, I'm gonna turn on live demo mode. Okay, so you guys should be able to see everything now. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull up um default scene. So now I'm going to let's create a new scene. So I'll do Florida. I've already had one called Florida. Let me delete this. Florida background. So when I create a new scene, I have it set to default to um, a blank source, but I'll do source camera. That's my FaceTime camera <laughs> on my, my MacBook. So I'm going to switch it to my cam link. And now here and under your camera effects. So if you want to get to your camera effects, go up to window camera effects, or you can do command uh, semicolon as a shortcut or hit this little magic wand here and your camera effects will pop up. So you want to check the green screen button. Boom. And you can adjust the fade level. So let me uncheck mass edges because Dan, this is answering your question. Um, adjust the fade level, as you can see, you know, the edges and stuff you can refine them that way. And then you hit mask edges to literally mask the edges. All right. So um, that's how you do that. So Ecamm, they have different, different backgrounds. They, this is a video background. But as you can see, there's a little bit of a, like a shadow. So I probably will want to pull the green screen a bit closer to me because there's some artifacts right here in this corner. Still there a little bit, but, um, and then on the other side now. Hmm, boom, that's a lot better. But as you can see, let me see if I uncheck mass edges, what will happen? Okay. So you kind of have to play around with it mask, unmask the edges a couple times to get it to work a bit better. But it really just depends on your, on your lighting and your green screen. Because when I have my LUT on, I noticed, it affects the green screen. So it really, really just depends on your LUT as well. Because check this out. If I turn off the green screen, this is my LUT, right? So this is with no LUT, but my LUT changes the colors. Like this is the LUT that I use and I usually have it kind of cranked up because it, it changes the colors. But what it does to the greens is it kind of makes it more muted and it changes it from like a green green to almost like a, like a, I don't know, like army greenish. So and look at, look at my mic and look at my, my, um, my chair. You see how the, the tint changes to like a more of a, um, like a army green. So, 
um, I noticed that when I had my LUT on and then I have the green screen checked, then let me see here. Yeah, then it, it's not as effective. So I just turn it, I just take the LUT off, right? I just take the LUT off. Um, so and then if I want it transparent, I'll be on a transparent background. So that leads us to the next thing I want to show you guys. But first, let me add in my background. So there are a couple different backgrounds you can choose within Ecamm. And you can see this in my eye. <laughs> the green screen is reflecting, right? Uh, off of the something, probably my camera um, lens. So that's why I like my eyes going missing, like my, my people. <laughs> <laughs> so um white wall all this stuff is cool so let me select the office first this is my current office it doesn't look that much different i turn the green screen off well the green screen's up so you can't see it but looks like i'm in my home office because i am <laughs> so let's select another let's be select the creepy yeah, there I am creeping in the background, bro. Can you give me a break? I'm trying to do Marshall Creates here. <sighs> <What's going on? laughs> All right, and let's do the Florida office. Boom! So we in the Florida office. So it looks it looks okay. I mean, you can see you know the edges right here is a little dark, and then it's still got a little artifacts artifacting right here. So of course we have to refine. I would probably bring that up even more, but it's just darker down there because it's not lit. You could also shine a light. Like if I had another light, I would shine the light right here just to make this this part a bit more bright and more green. Um, because it's just so dark down there, it's not really registering as green. Okay. Cool. All right, so. Yeah, let's stick with this one um, for now. But now I'm going to do transparent. Let's see what blur background does. Oh, it makes the background even blurrier. Oh, hmm. so let's see. Look, let, let me let's try something really quickly, y'all. So I have this video that I showed you guys. So right here before I even um, came in to adjust the. Um, the focus, let's see if we can use this and blur the background to see what it does. See if it makes it more of a blurry background because that makes it even easier. It's a clear background, crisp background, BG, okay? So let's see what it does inside of Ecamm. All right, select backdrop, choose file, Crisp background, boom, and then let's go, let's go down. Oh, here it is, blur background. Oh, so y'all, y'all don't even need to do the autofocus thing that I did. Don't even worry about that. <laughs> so blur is the background. I like that. Thanks, Ecam. Look, that's why I love Ecam. Y'all, it's always something new. You know, making it, making our jobs easier. Okay. Um. So let me let's let's do transparent background now. I'll take the blur background off. So this is something that you can use if you wanted to do some sort of screen share. So for the source, let's do screen share. Right. So let's say I was um sharing something on the screen. I could put myself in the corner. Right. This is giving us Twitch streamer vibes. Right. <laughs> but still, it's cool. So and if it's like this, where you kind of stuck, you can hit option, click and drag the corners over. I think. I think. Somebody help me out. I thought you could do option. Unless I'm not doing it right. Maybe, maybe you can't.
Well, options not it doesn't seem to work <laughs> right now. But it's 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 gonna bother me. So let me let me do it again. Let me see. So if I was to hit option on this. Oh yeah, so okay, so I would do it this way. This is weird. <laughs> so being as though I'm not the option thing isn't working with this main um overlay, whatever this is. I would just do it again. So I would select um, another camera overlay and then change it to the Camlink 4K. There it is. I'll take off the border um, and then use this to do option. There it is. There it is, y'all. Option. Click and drag these in and then I can move myself in the corner now like this. So I'm going to delete this one. Okay. So now I'm in a corner and I have a screen share. So what I can do also is come over to black and white for this. And this looks cool. Let's see what this appear tone does. Oh, this looks cool too. <laughs> Let's see what the blur effect does. Does it blur me out? Yep. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I don't know what deinterlace does, y'all. I do not know. But I like the black and white effect. So let me see if I change my my settings. My picture settings. I'll probably put the gamma up on this, like increase the contrast. Temperature, it won't do anything. Intent, not on black and white. Saturation. But this looks cool. All right, y'all, welcome to the video. <laughs> so you can do a course like this too, y'all. You can do a course like this. Um, This is cool. So something else that you could do as well. Um, Let's say you had a virtual. Can y'all see me? Let me switch the scene. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, Lord. Let me, let's adjust the. The temperature, how's it? Let's just reset it. How about that? Brightness, uh, I like to pump the gamma up. Temperature, make it a bit warmer. Tint is fine. Saturation. Yeah, I like it like this. So, um, let me go back to the other scene yeah like this so let's say you had a virtual background um like this for example let's do a new scene green screen source camera cam link green screen backdrop uh Let's just do this one, right? Um, camera overlay, but let me move myself. Yeah, let me move myself. Hold up. Overlays. All right, I got to think about this. Okay. Source blank. So this is how I'm going to do this, y'all. I'm going to do a blank source. Okay, stick with me. <laughs> Push buttons to try things. Yeah, so stick with me, y'all. Watch this. Source blank, right? I'm going to add the overlay separately. Let's do Florida. Now let's do, let's just do this one. So I'm going to literally drag this in from the finder, this image in from the finder. Okay. Um, I have this camera. I'm going to switch the camera. This is a camera overlay. So in order to get this, you will go to this plus button, camera overlay change this camera 
to here. And then on this overlay, huh, let me think, green screen, yeah, and then do transparent. So let me, let me do that again, okay? New camera overlay, I'm gonna change it, of course change it to whatever camera you have. I selected the green screen button, check the green screen button, and then hit transparent. So now I'm here. And I'm gonna hit option to drag these corners over. Stick with me. I'm gonna have myself right here. And let's say I had a guest and I wanted us to both be in the same shot. Is it necessary? No, but is it cool? A little bit. <laughs> so I'm just hitting shift, click and drag in right now. Um, but you could technically have two people in one shot. So if they're using the green screen, yours are using the green screen and you guys get your, your lighting kind of similar. Um, and you can put yourself in the same shot, even though you're in a different, different, um, lo location. Right. So of course, you know, you would want to change the, the camera to like the guest or whatever camera a, um, let's see if we use my phone. I don't have a stand for it, but let's see if I do Marshall camera all right is it showing up let me i think i have to lock it okay there it is and let me see if i can flip it i guess not i guess i can't flip it in here so if i do this oh wow <laughs> why is it so close to me apple well, let me just put it off in the distance like this, I don't know. <laughs> it's zooming into my face, no matter how far I am away. All right, it ain't gonna work like I thought. But um, you can set this to, like if you have interview mode on, if you're a pro member and you have interview mode on, you can set this to a, a specific guest, okay? So let me do, let me see, window, interview, Turn interview mode on. Video source guess one. So, but of course, you would you can you can set them up in advance, and if they have a green screen, you could put you, put both of you guys inside of the same shot. Okay. So, um, but yeah. So let me remove this. Make this larger. Now I'm huge. <laughs> Let's change the background to Florida because I miss it. Oh, you know what? That's what happened because I have this background. So I can drag it from the finder. Here. I have to move it below. There we go. There we go. I wanted to see if I added the LUT back, what would happen? So this is what happens when I add the LUT, this particular LUT onto it, which is fine. Um, oh, thanks, man. Good to see you. Roberto. Oh, are you using the branding we created last season? <laughs> Let me know. Let me know. Um, cool. So yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. Just a few green screen tricks, uh, how to use the green screen inside of um, Ecamm Live. You know, and the possibilities are endless. I particularly like the, um, when you do transparent. Oh, now it's double. <laughs> use transparent and then you can make it black and white. Um, I think this effect is kind of cool, you know. Of course, you want to adjust your your um settings, but I think it's cool. I think it's cool. What questions do you guys have for me before we get out of here?
Let me know. Let me know. Awesome. Awesome. That's good to hear. That is good to hear. Okay. So I'm going to turn off live demo mode and then I'm going to switch my scene. Um, so you guys, I mean, you just saw it, but creator camp, creator camp is sold out y'all, but you can join the waiting list. A little birdie told me that there may be a couple extra slots being added. So, um, is this the right scene? Yep. There we go. Ecamm.tv slash creator camp. Oh, it looks like we're still accepting registrations, but to be honest, it's, it's, it's technically sold out, but you can get in. You can still get in there. A couple extra slots being added, um, just for some folks. Cause I'm sure a couple people may, you know, may, may not show up, may get sick. I won't be able to make it, but we still need the room packed. The rooms, the camp, <laughs> the camps packed, y'all. We need the cabins packed. Um, so y'all can get this, get this information. It's gonna be fun, collaborative, uh, hands on, very hands on. Um, so I'm excited about my workshop that I'm gonna be hosting in in um uh, in collaboration with Anna and Fulgens about branding, equipment. You guys want to leave here with, you know, tangible tools and assets that you can use right away. Okay. It's not just theory. It's not just, oh, let me try this when I get home. No, we're going, we're going to put in some work. We're going to put in some work, y'all. So uh, we definitely want to see you in the building at Creator Camp. Uh, it's only three months away, y'all. Less than three months away. And we are pumped up. Uh, this is going to be the first and we got to make it fire. So um, we can sell out next year, the year after, the year after. Okay, so this is our inaugural creator camp. Definitely want to be in the building. Who we got 17 people on here. Y'all hit that like button real quick before we get out of here. Who is coming? Who is coming? Which one of y'all coming? Let me put my green screen. You know, I need I need my background. I need my background. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is cool. This is cool. Oh, this fits my vibe, y'all. We're going to rock with this. We're going to rock with this. But who is coming? Which one of y'all coming to create a camp? I'm digging this one. <laughs> oh, it ain't no soon, Sammy. Soon is running out. You need to get it today, bro. Like, if you're coming, you need to get it ASAP. The, soon, the time for soon has passed. It's now. <laughs> now, I'm not being a salesman. I'm just being real. Um... Awesome. Fusion marketing. Awesome. 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 Paul. Yes. I can't wait to meet you guys in the flesh. Y'all. I feel like I know you guys, but I haven't met I'm out of all Ecamm fam. Of course I've known Nikki. Um, uh, but I've met Elicio. I think he's the only one. Now we live, me and Elicio live 30 minutes away from each other in Florida. Um, but I haven't met any, I haven't met Doc in person, Katie, the twins, uh, Paul. I haven't met really anybody in person. Oh, the giveaway still going on, y'all. Ecamm.tv slash giveaway23 and use the secret code Team Marshall for five additional entries. I didn't realize it was still going on. Let's take, take a look at it. Let's take a look at it. Oh. Hello, Ecamm family. Yes, once again, it is time to talk to you about some of the brand new features uh -oh. that we've added inside of Ecamm Live 4.0. That's right. We've updated. Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about that. Improve your process and level up. Okay. Can you guys hear me? Okay, cool. Let's take a look at it. Ecamm.tv slash giveaway 23. Still going on. We got over 15,000 total entries right now. Um, but these are the different ways you can get entries. And if you use my secret code, Marshall, Team Marshall, Team Marshall, you get five additional entries. Okay. Five additional entries. 
I thought it was over, but it's still going on. So you still have a chance to win the the iMac, some special time with Doc, and all these cool pieces of tech. Okay. Rode Streamer X Insta 360 link camera, all the above. So head to ecam.tv slash creator23. Not creator, giveaway 23. Show you that again. And I, did I answer everyone's questions today? Use any image in my Mac to do a green screen. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. You know what? I didn't think about that. Let's try that. We got 10 minutes. So he's saying, can I use any image? Oh, but it would have to be behind you. That's the only thing. It would have to be behind you. So you can't just use a green screen um, like on your, your, like you can't just put a green screen on your Mac. Um, I mean, you could, but it would have to be behind you. <laughs> I had a brain fart there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, no, nah, because it would have to be, it would literally have to be behind you on your, um, your Mac, right? I mean, in your office, like literally in your office. It runs all month. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. Yes, because it's Customer Appreciation Month. <laughs> Use a green t-shirt for trivia graphics on it. Makes the shirt look awesome. That is dope. That is dope. All right, y'all, you guys don't have any more questions. We will prepare to say our goodbyes, at least. It's a real uh, overlay. If week. I turn off the finger, now I'm no longer Thanks, interacting with time. the page. I'm able to pick it up and move it all around the screen. So the key element is this there control section down here <laughs> where this little finger is, is when you but have thank it. Thank you guys so much for tuning like blue, in to another episode of Marshall Creates. With with so I can press e pause and I appreciate start again. Tuning. Please hit, hit that like button before we get out of here. When I oh, switch this I'll off, now I'm able week, to place this, this from, in my design the, phase, sort of maybe adjust how hotel. I want it to go. We but will it is see. a real, right, we will fully see functioning be back next webpage. Right, I'll show you something have else. Here on the desktop, I have just a little simple code. 